Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney. They had their earnings call today. Yeah. Which we which, forgot about. Well, we were busy. We missed we it. Were, we were busy. So anyway, anyway, uh, good news and bad news, I guess. Good news is Disney claims, claims they've overtaken Netflix in terms of raw numbers of subscribers. But as other people pointed out, you're supposed to take their word for it. You're supposed to take their word for it. And as such, they're jacking all their prices up. Of course they are. Mm -hmm. Of course they are. Oh, and the pricing is very confusing. It's, it's um, kind of like when they used to do the theme parks and they'd have, uh, you know, peak season, off season, whatever prices. It was kind of easy to understand. And then it was like, from this day on this day of the week is this price, et cetera, et cetera. And now it's like, it's like insane. There's a bunch of different pricing. It's kind of what they're doing here. Yeah, so we're going to talk about this. This is, um, you know, again, The Hollywood Reporter had an article up and they're even kind of like, yeah, you need to take Disney's word for it. And they're not saying how many of these subscribers are bundled or any of that. Yeah, we're not saying or how many people are doing free trials or they're like, you know, one of those free offers with, with something else. Right, right. So let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. That's over 274,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Speaking of support, Get notified on Indiegogo when Crimson Ren Volume 1 goes live. Which I hope is soon. Uh, I hope it is soon. Yeah, we're hoping I this. you are going to do it by now. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully this week uh, or next week, we're going to go live with this campaign. This is uh, a classic adventure in the style of the 1980s uh, Spielbergian. Spielbergian. Is that a word? I don't Spiel know. It, Spielbergian. It, it, it's fun. It's a fun story. It's just a fun story about a bunch of kids and some airships and some magic. Uh, Geeky came up with the story. We worked on the script together and Jose Garcia is doing the art. Good stuff. Hope you enjoy it. Let's talk about Disney. Disney's never going to pick up Crimson Ren. They had it optioned at one point, actually. Was it Crimson Ren? Yeah. 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 No. They passed on that. Oh, well, that's okay. They've got lots of money. They don't need our stuff. Um, according oh, thank God they passed on it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I don't know what would happen to it if they got it. They would have killed it. Uh, the Hollywood Reporter says Disney hits 221 million total streaming subscribers, topping Netflix for the first time. Okay, now there's a little bit of cynicism in this article. There's a little bit of cynicism in this video. I am, I find this hard to believe. I, I'm finding it hard to believe as well. Um, apparently, oh look, and uh, Arbesh apparently, apparently Bob Chapek is spelled Bob. <laughs> I mean, um, the Hollywood giant beat analyst expectations, everybody's expectations for the third fiscal quarter while streaming competitors are slowing in growth. Why, if everybody is canceling their streaming services and Disney has the least amount of new content, why would they be picking up subs? I, I, I find it highly suspect. I'm sorry, but I do. I mean, it's weird. So they said Disney Plus added 14.4 million subscribers during the third fiscal quarter for a total of 152.1 million, beating Wall Street's expectations of an average of 10 million subscribers. That's odd. Including Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus, Disney has now 221 million total, surpassing Netflix's 220.7 million subscribers as of July. Disney has not disclosed how many of those subscribers are coming through bundled subscriptions. However, we have had people who work for Hulu uh, talk to us and tell us that push, 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 push. You have to push the bundles, mm -hmm. push the bundle. Eventually, I have to wonder if they're not going to just merge Disney Plus and Hulu That's together. That's what I think they're going to do. Um, the flagship Disney streamer saw modest growth in the U.S. and Canada. Okay, this is important. Adding only 100,000 subscribers to reach... 44.5 million for the quarter. So where'd the rest of them come from? Where'd the rest of them well, come from? Well, they had some new markets, but still. Hot Star grew from 87.6 to 93.6. We were told, unless it, it's going to hit this quarter, that when Hot Star lost Cricket, that that is, you know, that was actually going to cost them like 20 million. Right, but that wouldn't have been then. That would have been now. Right. Because it would have been like oh, it would have been like August or July, and that would have been this quarter. So it wouldn't show up to the next earnings call. Right. Hulu had a total of 46.2 million subs for the quarter, up from the 45.6 million reported. Um, and how many people are still subscribers? And how many people subscribe just to watch like Obi-Wan or whatever and then unsubscribed? That's possible. Because it's going by the quarter. Yeah. And the quarter, did it, when did Obi-Wan end? If it ended anytime after June or anything, anything after June, it wasn't this quarter. I I didn't I didn't watch Obi Wan past the first episode, remember. so I don't, I don't care. Remember. It's been, you know. uh, so they unveiled the widespread uh, rumored uh, price hikes. 
Every year, guys, every year. When we started with Hulu, we actually cut the cord, and it was before Disney got a hold of it. Yeah, before Disney had controlling interest. And uh, we were paying like $35 or $40 a month, yep. and now it's like $75 a month. Mm -hmm. we're, we're getting close to DirecTV prices again for a fraction of the content. Yeah, and here's the thing. If people take their balls and go home, they're not going to have anything on there. They're going to have to merge the Hulu and Disney Plus because most people, you know, discovering them have a bunch of channels on there. They take their channels off and they're effed. Yeah, that that is coming. I think I think the Comcast apocalypse is coming. The Discovery apocalypse is coming. Eventually, they're going to take their their stuff. Well, I don't know because with um, Warner Brothers, I did a video earlier today on David Zaslav, and he's basically like, "We'll whore our content out to whoever wants to pay for it." Yeah. Okay. So they might. They might be willing to. Um, anyway. Price hikes. Here we go. Disney has announced it's raising the price of Disney Plus to $10.99 a month. That's like the current program without ads. Yes, up from its current price of $7.99 a month. That's so $7.99 is going to be the new ad price. Well, that is a massive increase starting December 8th. The move comes as the company is looking to restructure the pricing options, which will soon include a $7.99 a month ad supported so tier. They didn't make a cheaper version for people like, oh, we'll just make an ad tier and then we'll make a cheaper version so people can afford it. No, mm -hmm. no. The pricing that is the current Disney Plus pricing will be the, the new ad-supported pricing. They should call it Disney Plus Ads and then Disney Plus Plus or something. I don't know. Oh. Disney is also raising the price of its Hulu subscription. Of course they are. The ad-free tier will jump from $12.99 to $14.99. The ad-supported version seven. This is basic without TV, by the way. Uh, the ad-supported version will cost $7.99 a month, up from $6.99. Um, Holy crap. So what are now those prices were announced before they, are, they go into effect on October 10th. Those, those ones were announced previously. Oh, with ESPN plus 82 99 a month or wait a month or a, a year. Month. It has to be yeah, oh, no, Disney, a month. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Disney has adjusted pricing for Hulu with live TV. Hulu's live TV bundle with ad supported Disney plus Hulu and ESPN plans will cost 69 99 a month. Um, they're forcing you to take Disney Plus and ESPN mm -hmm. Plus now. Right, and then, they, then they're like, oh, look at all the subscribers we have. Yeah. Because you're not given a choice. It, it, you have to bundle it together to get the, part, to get the price. The live TV bundle with ad-free Disney Plus as well as ad-supported Hulu and ESPN Plus plans. This is confusing. We'll cost I told 74. You, it's like, yeah. when, they, it's like when, they, when they did the, the, the park pricing. It went from there's off-season, you know, peak season, et cetera, and it was easy to, well, it's on Monday at 5 o'clock or, you know, a... It's a Saturday in July. You know, it, it depends on the pricing. That's what this is starting to remind me of. Yeah, and then if you want everything, the full month, you're talking $82.99 a month. That's insane. Uh, according to Disney, they lost some They lost some money. Uh, rising production costs and programming costs for Disney Plus and higher sports programming costs. Well, they paid a shit ton of money out to get some of this sports content. Yep. They said direct-to-consumer revenue for the quarter increased 19% to 5.5%. One billion and operating loss increased from 0.8 billion to 1.1 billion. The increase in operating loss was due to a higher loss at Disney Plus, uh, lower operating income at Hulu, hmm, and to a lesser extent, a higher loss at ESPN. This, Plus. this seems very weird. This feels like three card monster. I was thinking that something's not right. So, look, this just. Something just does not add up here. Add up here, and I'm sure people are going to look at this. I mean, right now, you know, I can tell you that their stock price is going up. Of course, it is. But it doesn't make sense when we had everybody saying that, um, you know, they were going to lose a ton of subscribers. Well, that's next quarter. You watch and hot stuff. Yeah, and so I think they're in anticipation of that they might be jacking the prices but up. But now again they're and, doing these price these pricing bundles. It's really super confusing. It's and, ridiculous. And you know, these lower prices, they're going to last like a few months and then they're going to jack that up again too. Yeah, let's see what people are saying. Um, everyone increases prices while wages have been stagnant for years. Be careful. People who have money to burn would tell people that entertainment is a luxury and not necessarily like they expect low wage earners do. Know, this is, what is this getting into? Anyway, eventually it's going to come crashing down on them. Look what's going on with Netflix. The issue with Disney is there really isn't enough new content. That's it. Disney Plus has the least amount of content. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of their stuff is huge, but they have the least amount of new content of all the streamers. Sure, people constantly say how oh, Netflix is overcrowded, uh, but not everything's terrible, and they have multiple shows to keep people watching. That's it. I mean, at some point, it's going to be like not everybody's in the Marvel, not everybody's in the Star Wars, 
and they're actually losing Marvel and One Star Wars. One person fans. asked a question down below, and you skipped past it, but it was funny to me, and it's a good, it's a valid point. They said, like, they, well, they have these bundles set up. Mm -hmm. They said, so can you get all three for twenty? You can get all three for twenty a month, or can you just get Ju Disney and Hulu for twenty six a month? I mean, as a person with no interest in ESPN, I guess minus six dollars sounds like a fair price for it. So they're basically like, why am I paying for all this shit? Because you know, I'd rather just have the two channels. I have no interest, but I guess if I'm saving six bucks. But still, you know, it, they, they force you. You get a $6 savings to take them all. It's just like cable. I mean, you know, you subscribe to cable for the channels you want, but sometimes you have to buy or buy a better package just to get the channels you want because they won't give you, like, the premium channels, if you know what I'm saying, if you're getting, like, a really basic... they're making you take it. They're yeah, making they're everybody making take, take these. And they're like, oh, we went up so many subscribers. Everybody wants this. It's like, no, they don't. You just didn't give them an option. Like, we have ESPN on ours. We never watch it. Ever. No. We don't have a choice to take it off. Never watch it. It's just on there, yeah. So yeah. I, I mean, I you can know. take it off, but it ends up costing you more, so why bother? So basically, you're paying for stuff you never use. It's really stupid. Yeah, it's it's weird. I mean, we'll see what happens next quarter. Um, you know, but it does... It, it's it, weird. It's just weird. It's a very it's very weird, because every bit, everybody else is actually losing subs for the most part. Netflix has kind of hit the ceiling, and they're like... And a lot of people said they're canceling Disney+, Plus, but Disney's like, oh, look, guys, we got a whole bunch more people. Where did they come from? Don't mm -hmm. know. Don't know. Oh, don't care. Oh, it was one of those new markets we released it to. Trust, trust us. Oh, by the way, the prices are going well, up. And we don't know in those markets where they release the subscribers to what they're paying. So you have these new markets that they're getting the subscribers from, right? But they're going to be paying pennies in the dollar in comparison. So that might be a lot of subscribers, which sounds great. But financially, it's not much of an increase. Yeah. Um, and that was in the video earlier today with David Zaslav, where he basically said not all subscribers are created equal. He said he wants HBO Max subscribers to be worth the money that they're they're paying, mm -hmm. basically. And But there are some countries where, you know, if they're going after advertisers, they're not as uh, lucrative. Let's no. put it that way. They're, they're, yeah, they're, the people don't pay anywhere near what people in no. other markets pay. No. So you might sound like a lot. Oh, there's a big increase. We watch our stocks go up, but then they might be actually losing money. You know, yeah. it's, it is, it is like, you know, it's like hiding stuff under the cups and shuffling them around. Yeah. That's, they're hiding a lot of stuff and shuffling. We're, we're, we'll see. Well, well, remember their accountant came out and said they were yeah. hiding. So whatever happened to that, that went down the memory mm -hmm. hole, didn't it? That accountant that came out and said they, they, they play a three card Monty with their finances all the mm -hmm. time, all the time. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I mean, what are you going to do about it? Is, you know, this is what they said and people believe it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want, you want to pay for, ad, you know, the good news is if you want Disney Plus, but you want it, well, it's not even good news because now the ad supported basic is the same price as what it is now. So how, how is that going to entice? And then they suddenly get this big influx of customers. I question it because you're not giving them a pricing break. So why would they all of a sudden start subscribing to that when it's the same price? Like Netflix is going to do it, but they're going to give it at a lower cost tier. Disney's charging you the same they're charging seven nine nine, which is what they charge now, and they're jacking everybody else's rates up. They don't want ads, so you're not getting any kind of deal. So who's going to jump at that? Nobody's going to jump at that. Yeah, nobody likes it when when uh, Mickey uh, jacks jacks you. Um, so anyway, anyway. What do you? Well, okay. Well, okay, there's also a, a manga called I don't know how to give birth. I don't even. Want no that. one does until it happens. Anyway. The ideal sponger life. Girl in the arcade. These are some weird ass shit. Anyway, anyway can we wrap this up? It's right stuff. It's weird ass shit. Not as weird as it used to be, though. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.